What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Manscaped here. Um, as you can see, I got the the full set. And um, I've had it for about, I think, two or three months now. Or at least, like say, like two months. Or three. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Just in between, uh, like, around three months or two or so. And, yeah, I'm just going to be talking about it and just sharing my experiences with it and what I think about it. So, I'm going to go... Well, first off, I'm going to talk about uh, what comes in it. I'm going to start from uh, left to right, and then, you know, I'm going to talk about the, the bag and etc. But, here we go. So, first off is I have the Refined Cologne. Um, this is it right here. It says Re Manscaped Refined Cologne. Um, then you can see the information provided on the back. You can see, um, if you want to read that, you can pause it. Um, it says, clean scent with a citrus blast and a touch of jasmine anchored by vetiver? Vetiver? I don't know how you pronounce that word, but... So it does come with the cologne. And then I also got this little one. It's the same thing. It's like a pocket travel-sized one. Uh, you can see it's five milliliters. Um... You can see right there, Manscaped, nothing too special. Pop up the cap. Um, it's pretty small. Um, how many inches is this? One. Yeah, so it's roughly around three inches or so. Um, it's perfect to put in your in your pocket if you're out somewhere, if you need to respray it again. And the cologne, the cologne itself, um, it smells pretty good. It smells like a... It kind of smells like a barber shop, like like a classic gentleman barber shop, right? Um, the cologne isn't too expensive. The cologne is around forty dollars, I think, but um, it smells pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, for it being cheap, it smells really good, and the scent can last for a while. Um, I'd recommend like four squirts up front and four in the back, and then remember to. I always hit my pulse points like on my wrist or neck. But um the cologne I really do like. Um if I had to rate the cologne, I'd give it like a like a four. Like a four stars or five. I'll I'll give it five stars because I, I really do like it. And um next is um the new plow. And this right here, um this is the 2.0. They the original plow, plow was a 1.0. Um, you can see the box right here. It's a really cool box. Uh, you can see it says Manscaped, refine, refining the gentleman, the plow, safety razor, uh, 2.0. Then you can also see the plow 2.0 on the back, and then the website right there. And then on on the back it says. The Plow 2.0 Safety Razor, the next generation of our classic safety razor designed to give you the cleanest, closest shave ever without damaging your skin. The Plow 2.0 is a single blade, double edged safety razor that provides an easy, satisfying shave anywhere on the body. No razor burn or bumps, etc. Um, I'm not going to lie, I did hurt myself with the razor. And if you look at my thumb, uh, this is why I grabbed the razor on the wrong way and the blade uh, nicked my skin pretty deep and it pretty hurt, it hurt really bad. <laughs> um, then you can see, welcome to Manscaped Movement and then it has the website again. Looks like a phone case, it's pretty cool. Then you open this up. And then voila, you have the plow right here. It's a really cool classic uh, gentleman's razor. Like, you know, the classic the classic look, right? It's slick black. Um, it's not that light. It's a little bit, little bit heavy. Um, but this is the all black and the, the 1.0 was um, all silver before. But um, just be really careful when you grab the blade... Because, like I said, I did I did nick myself on my thumb right there. And 
um, it was a pretty deep cut, but um, even though this is a safety razor, uh, to be honest, I was still getting ingrown hairs a little bit um, here and there. But it, it shaves really close, but, you know, that's why. And um, if you want to replace the razor, all you have to do is um, turn it like that. And then it'll, it'll come off, come off like that. And then if you want to replace the blades, um, you just grab new ones that come in here. Um, then I think that's it for the razor. I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there isn't anything inside the box. I'm just going to put all this to the side right here. Um, and then moving on is that we have the foot duster right here. And um, actually these are the same thing. So we have two of the foot dusters. Uh, this is the old one. This is the new new one. And the only difference is the design of it, right? Like the logo. But um, I'm just gonna look at the old one here. Uh, you can see on the on the front of it. I'm not gonna read it all. Um, you can see the back. And like I said, guys, if you want to pause it to read it, uh, you can do that. Um, and the deodorant really lasts a while. It smells really good. It smells just like the... Actually, all of this smells just like the cologne. Um, like I said, if I could describe the scents, it has it right here. Um, citrus Blast and a Touch of Jasmine. Um, that's what it smells like. And it smells really good. And I usually spray around... Um, like two sprays on one foot and then on the other i'll do about two um yeah and oh and then the directions right here i'll read that real quick um if the camera can focus so after a shower or anytime your feet feel funky spray a generous amount onto the feet let it dry for 30 seconds before putting on uh footwear so um you want to, so either or, when you're out of the shower or you're just about to go somewhere, um, you know, just spray the, spray it on real quick. And this is the new one that I got shipped to me. And this is the newest foot duster right here. I don't know why my camera keeps on. There we go. So you can see it's a little different design. Same thing. And then the ingredients are right here. Water, alcohol, dent. Um, I don't know how the fuck you pronounce that word. Sekakurami? <laughs> I don't know. But you can see all the ingredients right there made in the USA. And, the, and they're manufactured out of San Diego. And then the directions again. And then caution, avoid eyes, um, etc. So that's that. And then we have the, the crop preserver right here. This is the ball deodorant. This is what you put on your ball sack or um, what is otherwise known as your testicles. Um, this just makes your balls a um, less sweaty and it makes it feel fresh. And the scent, like I said, is the same as all others. Um, you can see the front right here. Um, then, let me see. Then philosophy or grooming must-haves are designed to help you unleash your individuality to feel great in your own skin and to feel your own expression of masculinity. Be healthy, be confident, be a manscaped man. Um, and the directions, take a shower, then... Uh, towel, towel off until your goodies are dry. Apply a small amount of crop preserver onto your balls and the surrounding area. I like, <laughs> I like how they put balls it's, instead of testicles, you know. Um, and yeah, 
I have applied it, it like it, like this as caution. Uh, use only, use only as directed for external use only. Do not apply directly on tip of the penis. Uh, stop use immediately if irritation occurs. Keep reach out of children. Um, I have been putting a little bit more uh, than what is recommended on my balls. And I'm not going to lie, it was a little bit sensitive. So you want to make sure you're putting on the right amount, just like a dime size, um, just on your balls. Uh, you don't want to overdo it because that it will irritate your skin. So remember, less is more, so be careful. But other than that, um, it makes your your balls feel really nice and refreshed, which is pretty cool. And then what we have here is the crop preserver. This is a, a ball reviver, basically. Uh, you just spray it on your crotch and it just gives your crotch a refreshing scent to it and, you know, like a reviver, basically. And the directions, um, for any time, pick me up. Uh, splits. For any time, pick me up. Spur, spritz, good once or tr yeah. So spray once or twice, and you can. I guess you can just carry this anywhere with you. It's saying um, for any time, and you just want to let it air, let it air dry before uh, dressing. Um, and then the philosophy: our grooming must haves. Yeah, it's the same thing as the others. Um, this is really similar to the cologne, the way it sprays. I feel like I'm spraying the cologne um, on my crotch, <laughs> to be honest. And really, it gives it, it just feels nice and refreshed. Your, 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 your balls, you know, when you combine the crop preserver and this, your crotch and your ball sack. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, I put this on my gooch too. I'm not going to lie. I'm, you know, I'm being completely honest with you guys because, you know, that can get sweaty and really irritating um but you know this will help this will help and that will help and i, I am really um impressed by all of this and was that the list was this the last one yeah so last one right here is the the lawnmower 2.0 and this is a trimmer and this is mainly used for any hair on your body, this um, for your pubes, um, your gooch as well, your back. Um, you know, if you, you know, for trimming your legs, etc. And uh, I have not. I'll get little nicks here and there, to be honest, but I won't get anything too big or you know too major because it is a, uh, it is uh, nick proof. And it's um, it's skin safe, so it's really a you don't really nick yourself. It's it only happens once in a while for me. And um, and that's the the charging port right there. Um, oh, I forgot to bring the chargers in the bathroom, but I mean, I don't think you guys want to see the charger. But this is the lawnmower 2.0, and the way you uh, switch the blade, um. I think you just, how do you do it? I know you take it out somehow. Let me see. Yeah, so you just push up like that and then it'll pop right out. Um, and then uh, if you have the replenishment deal, uh, they'll send you a new blade every so-and-so months or whatever to... Um, you know, keep it sanitized and whatsoever so you won't have a dirty blade all the time, you know. Uh, kind of like a toothbrush, right? You don't want to be using the same toothbrush forever. You're, you're going to basically want to switch it out every once in a while. But, um, yeah, so this is, it is, I am pretty impressed. And this is waterproof, by the way. And I do use this in the shower, um, which is a good thing. A lot of trimmers like this, uh, aren't really waterproof but and then it's not as loud as you know this is what it sounds like it's not really as loud as any other trimmer it's pretty quiet and you can use this on your 
face too you know if you have a beard but i use a i use a beard trimmer that's separate uh because the guards that come with this um for me i like to keep my beard as like a close uh stubble like a 0.1 guard stubble but uh it doesn't come with that so i just mainly use this on my pubes and the bag itself so this is uh Oh, let me show you guys the guards. And these are the guards that come. Um, let me show you real quick. That come with the lawnmower. And what is this one? Let me see what it says right here. Six. Six millimeters. Yeah. And then, and then when you put it on. You can either move it up and down, right? So you put it on like that. Let me see. Sorry, guys. I'm like holding the phone in one hand and trying to... Oh, there we go. So you just put it on like that. And, um... Oh, actually... Oh, that's a pretty... I didn't even notice that. Because I said I, you know, I trim my beard to a close... That's a pretty close... That's a stubble right there, I think. But I think that's a point three guard. Yeah, I said six and three. Yeah. Uh, so this is a three millimeter. This is a, a six. But you can switch them both out. Um... Let me see. I'm gonna have to put the phone in here for me. to take this off. There we go. And then the other one is a 12 and 9. So it's basically the same thing. These are the only two that. Uh, the only two guards that come with it, and then this is is cl this is for cleaning your your lawnmower as well, just kind of dusting all the hair off of it, inside of it, etc. But um, this is the bag. The bag is pretty cool. It has a nice suede finish to it. It's pretty soft. Um, can travel with it. Um, in the inside, it's just a mesh finish in here. Nothing too special. Um, and on the front, you can see the Manscaped logo. And then on the back, you have suede again. And then suede on the bottom. Um, pretty cool. Um, I keep this in my, um, on my uh, bathroom sink or in the medicine cabinet. But then, last but not, I think that was it. I covered everything besides the newspaper. So last but not least, we have the newspaper, which is the mat for, um, you know, it, when you're trimming for your pubes or whatever. And it has some pretty funny shit on it. Um, <laughs> like some really corny, funny shit. Like, how beautiful the gorillas groom each other in the wild. What are they doing? Picking lice out of each other's hair. No. <laughs> and you can see... Um... <laughs> Um, he's trimming his, um, crotch. It's pretty funny. And then the, the rest is, is the same thing. You know what this kind of reminds me of is like GTA 5. I, I don't know. You know, you know how you have some of those stupid ass billboards or, you know, those radio stations that just talk about nonsense. You know, this reminds me of GTA 5. <laughs> and you can see, uh. You know, which style you can trim your pubes, the original, get what you, <laughs> the soul, Twitter, pretty fucking funny. And then you can do a crossword puzzle as well. And um, you have horoscopes right here. Let me see what mine is. I'm a Virgo. A, wait, which one? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So, wait, January, February, March, April, May. I think I'm this right here. 
Yeah, so a warlock once told me to listen to my heart when it comes to matters of love and romance. He is dead. He's, he is now dead. I am pretty sure it wasn't because of his advice he gave me, um, of this advice he gave me. So I would still follow it. You know, look up yours and see, you know, pause it, see what it says. But some really stupid, funny shit on here. Like, what the... Actually, what the hell? I, I, I haven't really looked at all of this. I, I'm... You have... What? <laughs> horoscopes again safety on the job this is like a real newspaper it's pretty funny um i think there's one more side or two more see what it no oh that's the only that's it yeah it's it's the same things that are you have orbituary orbituaries kind of fucked up but <laughs> uh you know, it's all, it's just, you know, just for fun and games. It just it reminds me a lot of, like, the ads in GTA V for some reason. But, um, yeah, guys. So, anyways, that is my review on Manscaped. And my final thoughts on it, um, I do like it. I'm not going to lie. The trimmer works really well. I really do like the, the cologne. And, um the the rest of the stuff like the crop preserver and uh the foot duster um the only thing you have to be careful with is like i said is the the crop preserver just make sure you put a little bit on your balls don't put a whole lot this is just like a a dime size amount um nothing too too much overboard and the, then the other thing too is to really be because this is really sharp. This is a single blade razor, and even though it says safety razor, um, you can still nick yourself like I did on my thumb, and it, it really hurt. Um, just just be careful, and especially especially with me, I have really sensitive skin. So when I shave, it's a really close shave, but just just still be careful with it. Um, still pretty cool razor though. Uh, the only cons I'd give it. You know, for out of this whole set is the the crop preserver and then the the whole razor. But um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Other than that, it's been Brandon. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, check this out for yourself. Um, and then the price ranges may vary. Like I said, um, you know, just go on the website and look up the prices. Um. Um, they have, they, I think it's affordable depending on what you get. Um, you can remember, you can get individuals too, like the cologne and, you know, the, the rest of the stuff. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Other than that, it's been Brandon and I'm out. Peace.